Hey everybody, welcome back to Wallet Reset. So, if you're watching this, you've probably started doing like a network marketing business or a MLM business, something like that. And you may know a little bit about affiliate marketing and you're wondering what the differences are. So, very simply, network marketing, MLM, is a completely different business model than affiliate marketing. Now, here's why. All right, with affiliate marketing, uh, essentially what you're doing is you are, uh, if you're doing it the right way, right, then, or the, the basic way, the most, the most popular way I'll say, what people tend to do is they get an affiliate link, they start promoting the affiliate link either through having a website, uh, having uh, an email list, or through social media, through whatever, and they either uh, do well with it because they're, you know, learning the right things and they're doing the right things, or they don't do well with it. Um, people who do multi-level marketing or network marketing tend to uh, not really necessarily approach it that way, right? Uh, and here's here's the thing with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, when you understand strategy and when you understand how to set up certain things in a certain way. Uh, then you can build a affiliate marketing business uh, where you're a, a business. Affiliate, you can use affiliate marketing as a way to increase your income. Uh, you can use affiliate marketing as a way to promote more products that are beneficial to your customer. With MLM, uh, network marketing, typically speaking, you're not necessarily just promoting a product. You're also promoting selling the product as a business and with uh, network marketing a lot of times uh, you may make a couple you know a little bit here and there per sale right and you'd have to sell a, a lot of these products uh, in order to make a good amount of money which is how every business works and, and that's a similarity that you have with affiliate marketing is that you have to no matter what sell products and you have to sell a lot of these products in order to make a, a good amount of money. If you want to in, in multi-level marketing, one of the things that is a benefit that is also one of its downfalls is that you can recruit new people into your organization. You can build a business uh, that gives others the opportunity to build a business. And it's a, I'll say this, my sister is a career network marketing uh, basically expert. She, she, she only makes her money through network marketing. Well, not anymore. Mostly, primarily makes her money through network marketing. Now, uh, because of some things that she's done promotionally and, and stuff like that, she also uh, is a brand ambassador for a few other companies. Um, she also gets paid royalties for uh, pictures that she takes that are on websites and stuff like that, so on and so forth. But um, really, what I'm saying is, she started out by doing well in network marketing. Uh, the way that you make the majority of your growth happen in network marketing is by teaching people to make money with network marketing by telling you, okay, well, I sell these products, and yes, that makes me money. But here's how you can make a lot of money with network marketing. And what that ends up being is you sign up and then you build a team to help you sell more of your products. And they make money. And because they make money, you make money. Uh, and, the, and the benefit of it is that you are learning the skill that you need to be an entrepreneur, first and foremost, which is you have to be able to recruit. Think about it like this, right? Outside of MLM and network marketing, if you work at... Uh, the dollar store, right? If you are the entrepreneur that franchises the dollar store, you're going to have to hire people. You're going to have to take on new people in order to sell more product, to advertise your products, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so that's one of the good things. But here's the, here's the part that almost every network marketer or multi-level marketer struggles with, is that when you start to build a team, one of the things that unconsciously people either have or they don't 
or have built themselves up to be better at is leadership. That's 99% of people struggle with leadership uh, of other people, right? It's easy to uh, be disciplined and, and do it yourself and lead yourself to success. It's extremely difficult to get somebody to act in their own best interest when they are not disciplined. And so what actually ends up happening is you start to learn that leadership is a quality that is uh, you're going to have to cultivate as a network marketer or a multi-level marketer. Um, and there's various different ways to learn how to do it, how to become a better leader. Um, and I'm not going to go into that in this video. But ultimately, you have to learn leadership. Outside of leadership, you also have to learn how to, uh, in some ways, you have to learn psychology. You have to learn how to assess somebody's mental readiness to handle success or failure. And there's many different ways you could do that by sitting down with somebody and talking to them. But for the most part, what ends up happening is, uh, and I've seen this through a lot of people who I know who are leaders in their business through network marketing and multi-level marketing. But what ends up happening is instead of you uh, cultivating a leader or, or teaching someone to be a leader, uh, what will end up typically happening is the people who try to create a leader will burn out. And the people who uh, basically just sort out the people that they have brought into business, right? And so what I mean by that is if you sign up 10 people, about three of them, three to five of them will do nothing, right? About, well, let's say five of them will do nothing. Let's say two of them will uh, make a few sales bring in a few people and quit. Uh, and then the last three, uh, and really it's probably like out of those last three, one of them will really be a killer. But the last three will have success and they'll be, they'll be constant and consistent and grow either on a long-term scale or very quickly. And ultimately what you're looking for is to help the people who are taking themselves seriously because uh, what most people do in network marketing or multi-level marketing is they spend time with all the people who aren't doing it and they're like, well, we got to get you going because they're trying, they're really putting uh, the money aspect of it ahead of, ahead of it. And they're looking at like, okay, I have to have three that have three that have three and the wider my, my base gets and the wider their base gets, the better. But the reality of it is that you, you can't, you can't focus on 10 people and fix all 10 of these people because let's face it some of these people are just uh, money hungry right and yes on some level everybody in business is money hungry but the people who are action takers are the people you focus on because you cannot you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them sell <laughs> right you can't make them become a multi-level marketing leader so you have to take the people who are naturally disciplined, the people who are going to do what they want to do, and keep them focused and keep them determined and help them to move forward. And if you, if you don't focus on them, then that will suffer. And then the people who weren't going to do anything anyway are going to quit. Uh, and you're going to be focusing on trying to keep them motivated. And that's going to demotivate you. So it's really all about conserving your energy. It's all about finding, uh, finding the sweet spot, finding the, where the home runs are and hitting the home runs. Um, and so the, ultimately the difference between affiliate marketing and MLM is that you can actually start an affiliate marketing business without having to become a leader, without having to be a leader. You can just be disciplined take action for yourself, see success for yourself. But that also means that you have to be uh, willing to learn strategies that help you to grow your income as time goes on. And ultimately you have to create a business that doesn't revolve only through you selling affiliate products of other people's products, you know what I mean? Or being affiliate for other people's products. Um, which is what most people really try to do. Uh, Anyway, 
after saying all this, would I suggest that somebody start a network marketing business or an affiliate marketing business? Yes. Yes, I would. And as a matter of fact, what even got me started in learning marketing, business, uh, everything that I know now was that I did affiliate marketing, or not affiliate marketing, excuse me, uh, network marketing. And I failed miserably. And then I did it again, and I failed, and then I did it again. And I got a little bit better at it, but I, you know, I think I made it, might have signed up like five or six people, and then I failed. You know, and that time that I failed, what actually ended up happening is that I noticed a difference. I noticed the process, and I noticed that, okay, what, what actually is happening is that we are helping build a business. Right, on some level that's an event based business. Right? So network marketing and affiliate marketing, this is the key that I can tell you about any type of marketing for real, is that you are the job of a marketer is not to sell. The job of a marketer is to get you to go from taking this starting right here and you want to take them to the next step and that's it. And if you master taking people from zero to one, you've mastered marketing. Because all you have to do is get them to commit to going to the next thing. Now with network marketing, most of the time what that is is, okay, you committed, you get them to commit to come to your, uh, either your party or to watch a video or go to an event. Uh, or get a magazine or get a product or whatever. So the whole thing is, I'm going to tell you to come to this thing. I invited my, enough people. I get all of those people in the room, I, I say my thing, we watch the video, and I say, hey, here's how you, this is how I'm going to help you get started fast. And if you're ready to get started fast, come up, we'll sign you up, and we'll get going right now in the next 10 minutes. People come in and sign up. You help them get more sign-ups, boom, you go. But the goal after that is to get them to sign up for the conference. Uh, sign up for the magazine, sign up for uh, auto ship, sign up for various different things. And, and that's really just moving you from zero to one, one to two, two to three, three to four. And that's really it. So that is the skill of selling. That is the skill of marketing. Uh, and that's a skill that you have to have. And in order to do that, you have to be a structured person. You have to be able to build all these different uh basically these these qualities that may not be natural to you especially if you're an introvert especially if you're someone like me that I kind of don't spend a lot of time with other people uh, so I suggest that people do it if they are introverted because the skill of being able to start a conversation with a complete stranger or to move people from zero to one or, or to lead people is a skill that is aspirational in nature, it will move you from where you are to a higher, uh, a higher goal, no matter what that goal is. So, yes, I would say, if you are thinking about doing a network marketing or MLM business, go ahead and do it. At the same time, don't do it focusing on uh, how fast you can get to the money or how fast you can climb the ladder. Focus on getting started. And helping people and being excited about uh, the process, um, being excited about the the day to day grind in it, because it's not going to be fast. Like you're gonna you're gonna get started. It's gonna take you a year or two to get your 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 momentum, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, affiliate marketing is a skill that you will need to learn, whether you do network marketing or MLM or drop shipping or any any business because every business does affiliate marketing but it's not their business right they all sell their own products or their own services or they have their own way of brand and income and network marketing is no different so it's not really versus it's and you should do both anyway this has been Mike Malbro hopefully you guys learned something from this video I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, I'm going to be heading back home from Atlanta tomorrow, so, uh, and then hopefully within this next couple of days after this, I'll have my vlog video done so that you guys can see 
everything I've been doing in Atlanta. But anyway, take care. See you guys on the next video.